Hey everyone, it's Libby from Master Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people and welcome to you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Thank you, thank you for joining me. Okay, entertainment only, tarot reader from Australia. Uh, what I want to have a look at, if I'm looking this way, this is where all my notes are noted, uh, all my notes are. Uh, I want to just have a quick look at what's happening in the Red Sea at the moment. So we've got uh, the Yemen uh, Houthis are attacking the shipping in the Red Sea. Um, the US, UK and several other countries, Australia, Canada, etc., etc., uh, have been uh, involved in a multinational strike back against uh, into Yemen. So I'm just going to bring my notes over because there's a lot of notes there. So, okay, the uh, Yemen Houthi rebels, also known as Ans. Ansa Allah, uh, they came to rise in the 1990s, I believe, uh, as, and they, believe it or not, yes, this does happen, they were backed by Saudi Arabia and US as an opposition party to the government that was in place in the day. So, yeah, this is, again, um, nothing against it, but this is, again, about meddling in foreign uh, foreign countries and it all going to pot. So uh, that's what happened back in the 1990s. They uh, came to, to being backed by Saudi Arabia and the US. In 2003, they were adopted by the Lebanon Hezbollah and became anti-US, anti-West. Uh, 2011, uh, uh, there were protests that they were involved in. 2014, there was a failed coup attempting to uh, take over the government of Yemen uh, and the and the failed and they were backed by the current government that was, I believe, elected or the recognised government of the day, but were backed by Saudi, uh, the Saudis in 2014. Now, please let me know if I've got anything, any of this wrong. Uh, what's happened now, 2023, they're uh, supposedly attacking ships that are supplying Israel, but it appears to be wider than that. They see themselves as fighting for um, the marginalised uh, uh, groups within Yemen. Uh, and very interestingly, it, it's exposing the vulnerability of the shipping shipping around the world, very similar to when the ship got stuck in the Suez Canal. So let's have a look. Now, I am not for either side. I'm very much of the opinion that you can't bring peace by dropping bombs. I'm not pro-Israel or pro-Palestinian or pro Lebanon or pro Houthi or pro anything. I am a terror reader from Australia. I am pro-peace. I am pro finding harmony in this world and within the um, with Mother Earth. But I want to have a quick. I want to have a look. How is this going to play out? I might pop you on pause and just shut that. Shut some windows as the neighbours starting to mow his lawn. Hang on a sec. Back again. Okay. Welcome to suburbia. Right. Just how's this all going to play out? Woo wee from. The shipping point of view. I'm going to ask about US, UK, Iran, Yemen, Houthi. How is this going to play out? I think about 11% of the world's shipping passes through the Red Sea. How's this going to play out? Okay, time to take the blindfold off. It is a, well, if I say a truth crossroads point. Take time to really take the blindfold off and have a look at what's happening and why. Okay, I got why in capital letters, why it is occurring. So let's have a look. So apparently the Houthi, Houthis are saying they are doing this to support uh, a separate state for Palis, the Palestinians and aid getting through. Okay, let's have a look. How's this going to play out? How is this going to play out? Is this going to play out in regards to the shipping? In regards to the shipping, yeah. I envy those tarot readers that can shuffle five times and that's it. My boys make me shuffle until, until, until. 
But this card's flipped over. I'm going to put it aside. Uh, downfall. Let's have a look. Come on down. <clears throat> right, so it's time to take the... Take, I'll just put that aside because I'm feeling that there's... Uh, the, the swords of truth are not yet... They're about to drop in regards to this, but I'll put that to the side. Okay, the blindfold needs to be removed. Challenging it will be higher authorities. This may go to the hay, uh, or the, is this just higher authorities in the chain here because they're interrupting the flow of money? Uh, the International Monetary Court, maybe? No, they're just, it's going this what is happening is it's ending, going to end, go to a higher authority due to the disruption of trade. In the past, yeah, the inability to harvest. Uh, and here we have is the, um, so eight, seven of pentacles. Sorry, I need to say what the cards are. Crowning the reading, uh, the wealthy, the wealthy king, the moneyed king. It's disrupting the moneyed, the moneyed. Okay, new start, new partnership in the immediate future. Let's see where this goes. With the rise of the feminine, a new plan, a plan of compassion and empathy, a new plan coming forward externally, internally finding themselves entrapped by the messaging. Four of Wands, hopes and fears, the burden of what they're trying to bring across. But we've got the Sun card here, the star, the Sun of Illumination. Giving and receiving money. So they're, they're, it may go to a court and that may be payment here. How's it going to play out? Standing the ground, but having to defend the international shipping, the strength card, this fighting that's going on with the five of wands are going to be called to uh, judgment. Okay. And then we've got a sword of truth and peace being being drawn. Don't ask me how this is going to play out. I just feel that this is really, this is almost uh, bringing about an ending of shipping is what I'm getting there, stopping the shipping. And the swords of truth, but they're not, they're not piercing the body. So this is what's going to be caught, brought to the courts and getting there some financial recompense. <clears throat> okay, so I want to ask what's going to happen. Here we've got on the base, fading of the partnership, the fading of the masculinity as the feminine energy comes forward. The fading of the aggression under this justice balance. King of Swords. Six of Swords moving forward to Karma Waters as this the truth is being brought forward with a lot of anxiety. And here we have the diplomat, the negotiator, the emotionally balanced and calm king. Can also be the Biden administration. I'm not talking about Biden himself. But it may be Biden might step in and negotiate something here. I want to have a look at the Houthis in Yemen. Will the so they rose out of a minority faction, uh, a minority um, 
I did write it down, but I can't even read my own writing. <laughs> uh, the she Shiite, the Shiite faction. I'm, a, I'm a, an oppressed minority within Yemen is what they rose out of. I mean, goodness, when uh, conquering was all the rage a couple of centuries ago, lines were drawn on the map with no consideration of what was actually going on in the country. You have this bit, I'll have that bit. Uh, it was just throwing together uh, minorities and minorities. It was just an, of course, an absolute world mess. But show me the Shiites. Oh, oh God. cards falling out everywhere because they wanted that one and they want that one as well. Um, interestingly enough, um, standing their ground and defending, that will bring about a new plan, a new start, a new beginning. Okay, show me the future of the Houthi rebels, also known as Ansa Allah in Yemen. Houthi rebels in Yemen, the future. Ruby rebels in Yemen. Let's have a look. Right, the Four of Wands. Again, finding themselves entrapped by the messaging that they're putting out there. Skilled work going on behind the scenes. Money, money trail. That's the challenge. Finances. Challenge will be financing. At the foundation, poor choices that were made based on emotion. In the past, the government, the, the authority, the government of Yemen in the past, crowning this reading, taming the lion, bringing forth strengths in a compassionate, empathetic way. Balance justice in the immediate future. This is the going to the whatever courts this is. The fading of this tyrannical masculinity with the rise of the feminine. A lot of major arcana occurring here as well. Internally, celebration. Any of the cards that ever I pull is this celebration. So also be careful what you wish for, hopes and fears, The uh, and I can understand why this is a fear. This is about um, the tink in this particular deck, my Gilded Tarot Royale. This is about uh, this crab down here is playing with the with the cogs that spin the, the moon of wisdom and light shedding. So secrets coming to the surface, um, but this tinkering with secrets as well. <clears throat> three parties coming together with the Three of Cups. Being heard, their message being heard about the abuse of power in Yemen and an offer. An offer of re I'm getting an offer of reconciliation. Brought about by whoever this negotiator is with the King of Cups. There's a truth being brought forward here that can no longer be ignored and working together with the Two of Cups to bring about change. It is time for change, significant change. Okay, at the base we have the Devil. This is the here and now energy, this devil energy. I'm asking about the Houthis in Yemen, this tied to this devil energy, secrets coming forward that will expose financial, moral and ethical corruption, truth being brought forward, a lot of anxiety in regards to, to what's going on, 
bringing about an ending of the oligarchical, I'm going to say oligarchical support here, loss and disappointment. It's going to bring about a loss and disappointment and then aid, assistance, assistance, defeated in battle, having to withdraw. But then we have the card of temperance, trying to balance fire and water. But we've got the dove of truth and peace and the sword of truth and peace coming forward. And then we've got the queen of swords and the king of swords. Perhaps prosecution, perhaps truth, wisdom, knowledge, clarity, unavoidable truth being brought forward here. But Yemen is going to have to defend itself against and then we have the bringing forth of this feminine new plan, new way of doing things. Moneyed secrets are going to be exposed behind this fight, that's behind this fighting, the dark, the dark energy, the dark money that is funding this fighting. Okay. I'm getting a real feeling, a real, I'm getting a vision that the Houthi, the Houthi faction, when all this comes forward, the Houthi faction will be, have a place in the government. This is, I'm going to use my intuitive cards here. If you like how they play, you can find them in the more dot, dot, dot under the Etsy. Let's have a look. Yemen. Show me the future of Yemen. Yemen. Show me the future of Yemen. Well, first of all, not yet written. Something small is going to come forward. Show me, show me the future of the government of Yemen. I'm getting a real, what I'm hearing is that there's going to be something come forward. The healing the health of the poverty. It's almost like aid. What I'm really getting is that, and correct me if I'm wrong, if you know the inside, but I'm getting with the Houthi rebels that their cause is going to be First of all, their backing is going to be disrupted. But the cause that has given rise to the Houthi rebels is going to be removed, if that makes sense. Um, I'm not saying bombed into nothing. I'm just, what I'm saying is that at the negotiating table, they're going to feel heard. And there are going to be changes put in place that will remove, remove whatever it is that they they are that has given rise to them being rebellious. Okay, let's have a look. Show me the future of the Yemen government. Will it include the Houthi faction? Okay, card popped out, the celebration card. Let's see where we go with this. <clears throat> Overseas, internationally, full, illumination, bringing peace. Let's see where this goes. The intertwining of the masculine. Uh, 
a leap of faith, an upward movement in faith and trust. will be transformative. So something on the international stage is going to bring about illumination and peace. Illuminating the intertwining of the masculine, transformation of the anger and the dollars. It's going to take hard work. But the feeling of neglected loss is going to be completely transformed, struck down. The dark energy is going to be no more empty. It is going to be, it's going to bring about a slow destruction. Yes. A slow destruction to this. This energy, this darkness, okay. This darkness, this dark, this cloud has been shown to be empty and it's going to bring about a slow dis destruction of what is and yes to the feminine. Here we have negotiations and contracts that will bring growth to Yemen and there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes. Poverty will be <clears throat> I'm getting oppression will be removed. Loyalty will be a hard message or exuberance. It's going to be a difficult message for the world to okay in the <sighs> Um, I got a bit of a head cold going on here. Loyalty, difficult message in regards to the conflict on the world stage that will bring about rebuilding and good rulership for the masses. It will bring about happiness and abundance. Foreign justice. Again, going to the, the foreign, the foreign courts. The restriction of the country under the current rule has its time for those to, for help to be given and received. It's going to be, take a brave step. Social media and technology will play a big part in this convoluted path, but it's going to be It's magic will happen going forward. The wealthy into the future via their cowardness will be shared. Uh, the, the, the knowledge of it, the secrets of it will be shared and entered. It will bring about healing. Yemen is at a crossroads moment. Ideas need to, will be brought forward. This division of strength amongst families will be no more under this devil energy. Positive energy bringing freedom as it brings about change in regards to stability and security. Okay. Pretty much backing up what the... Um, I'm just really feeling that the current government in Yemen, in for a little bit of a surprise... Uh, and back in, it really backs up what the tarot cards were saying, that change for Yemen is coming, um, and it's good change. It's good change, but like everywhere in the world at the moment, it's about removing money, uh, oligarchal greed money from the picture. Okay, thank you for joining me. Let's see how it plays. Take care. Love to you all.